ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up. Hey y'all, welcome to Marley. This is a place where you get to know God. You get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Praise God. This is a place where we hear from the Holy Spirit. I'm just an obedient vessel doing what God has called me to do in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that you have ears to hear the word from the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me a prophetic vision about a couple of weeks ago. And I'm sharing this with you today because uh, the Holy Spirit just shared that I could release this upon you today. And so I want to give this to you as authentically as I remember it, praise God, because as I was praying a couple of weeks ago, I was speaking in tongues. And for those of you who believes in believe in tongues, praise God. Praise God. But for those of you who are kind of weary about that, just go to Acts um, and Acts will teach you. Just read the book of Acts. Acts will teach you about the tongues of fire. Praise God, the Holy Spirit. It will teach you about um, that so you'll get a better understanding of why Christians speak in tongues for those who have the gift of the tongues, right? Because this is a gift of the Holy Spirit to be able to communicate in this way. Hallelujah. But just understand that I was speaking in tongues, hallelujah, not of my own, but of God. And as I'm doing this, praise God, as I'm moving in prayer, the Lord opens up a vision to me. And I'm sitting here as I'm still speaking, I can see this gigantic lion. And it's so funny because I have a lion um, right here on my desk, praise God. Here it is, praise God, hallelujah. But this lion was huge. And when I say huge, it was this, I mean, it was gigantic, like a huge dinosaur. Um, and so, and I'm talking about a, a great dinosaur. And I don't know the names of dinosaurs, praise God, but it was huge. And what was so interesting about the Lion of Judah, you know, this is Jesus, y'all. He was approaching quietly. He was as quiet as a mouse. And this was quite interesting to me because I, um, I was just surprised at how large he was and he was coming in so quietly. So what happened next was I was observing his great stature. It was huge, y'all. I'm telling you, I probably would have came up to a nail if I was standing there next to him. Right. This is how big he was. And when he was standing there, he just kind of like walked in and he just stood. Right. Because I can only see the, the front um, limbs in his paws, the two paws in the front. That's all I could see. Just like he just peered through. And when I saw his paws, y'all, his paws, his nails on his paws, they had red crosses on them. And inside the red crosses were white crosses. And these were on each nail. And when I honed in on it, the Lord was giving me this representation that he was nailed on the cross. And that painting, it looked almost like a painting on his nail. Praise God. Hallelujah. Not nail polish, y'all. It was just red and it had the cross and it was symbolic to his death. And he was approaching as the line of Judah. And these nails were very visible, praise God. Hallelujah. And the cross were on the nails, I'm telling you. And the Lord said, hallelujah, when I was looking at this, this whole you know, scene and fire was on the right side, I could tell, I couldn't see the fire, but you know how you can get close to fire. You don't have to look at fire to know fire's there. You can kind of see that glare on the side, you know, even if you're not staring at it, praise God. I could tell fire was on the right. He sits at the right hand of God. He is the judge, y'all. The Lord was letting me know that time is short. This is what he said. He said, time is short. So I'm coming on here tonight because he said it was time to give this to you. And I'm here to let you know that if you are not right with God, it is time to get right with the Lord. Because time is short. He's not playing with me. He's not playing with you. 
He's letting us know. We don't know the day or the time. This is why he was coming forth. I couldn't even hear him. Quiet as a mouth. He was coming forth, y'all. Praise God. And the way he was moving, he was approaching. That's the only word that I can come up with. He was approaching. And you may say approaching where? Praise God. Hallelujah. Time of judgment, y'all. He was approaching. And I don't know how many people are in delusion thinking that God is not going to return, thinking that Jesus Christ is not going to judge, thinking that they will be able to do every single thing that they want to do on this earth. But that's it. Praise God. They're going to go to heaven anyway. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, they don't have to do anything that God says, but somehow they're going to get inside the gates. The devil is lying to you. He's coming with the crosses on his nails as representation of him being nailed to the cross for our salvation, for those who chose salvation, which is him. And he's returning for his bride. And everything else is going into that fire to the right. I'm telling you, if they're going into the fire to the right, and I'm letting you know this because this is what I saw and this is what I know from this vision, go back and pray and, and, and just seek the Lord on this. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. But I'm letting you know what the Lord released to me. Hallelujah. And I pray that you receive this message from the Lord. Praise God. This is a prophetic vision of Jesus Christ returning as Lion of Judah. And he's going to remind us in his return, him being nailed to the cross. Because even when we take communion every day, we are to remember his death. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients.